HowToMakeAnything.com. Today on HowToMakeAnything.com, I'm going to share with you how to make masks in Sony Vegas. Now, these aren't the kind of masks that you wear, but a mask is something that will mask out or hide uh, details in a shot that you don't want people to see. Um, so for an example, we've got here uh, is me standing in the middle of our chroma key studio. So you can see the chroma key and you can also see the lights that illuminate the chroma key and the walls and the sound baffling and the lights here in the corner that are illuminating the subject. Um, and even when you key everything out, which is a topic for another discussion, um, you'll see that the chroma key keys out well, but then of course you have all this extra stuff around and if you were going to let's say extend or put a picture underneath. You don't want to see all of this other stuff. You just want to see the subject that you're keying over this photo, which happens to be in an alley and I look enormous. Um, but in order to get rid of this so that you just see the subject, you're going to want to mask out all this material, but leave as much as the chroma key as possible. Or you don't have to, but if I'm going to move around in this shot, you want to give me space to move around. Um, otherwise, you could just mask the area right around me. So what you want to do is you want to go up to your shot here in the timeline and you want to click on the event uh, pan crop tool like so. This gives you your basic shot. If you want to see a representation, we'll sync the cursor so you can, there's the actual shot. Uh, and now you might notice that right under, under position, um, which is kind of what you'll typically use to move the frame around in the pan, the pan crop tool or to crop, uh, there is a little box here that says mask. So you're going to want to click on that, and now you have this little pen tool, and what you're going to do is create points or anchors that will allow you to set up the wireframe for your mask. So I want to, uh, my frame to be right around the edges of the green so that I can get as much space as possible. So I'm just going to go around, and basically at every corner, I'm going to create these little anchors that will take me around uh, the entire shot and give me the space I'm looking for. Now all I'm doing here is I'm just cursoring to the area I want and tapping once, clicking on the mouse, tapping on your touchpad. And then when I get to the end here, I'm going to join them all together like so. Now this mask is already defaulted to positive mask, which means everything within the mask is going to remain while everything outside of the mask is masked out. I can reverse this by going over here and changing the mode to negative now, notice over here, and I'm gone all of a sudden, and everything else uh, remains. But we, so we don't want that. We want a positive mask. So now all the equipment around me is gone, and I can actually move a little bit or extend my arms out, and uh, they won't go outside of the mask. If they do, I'll all of a sudden disappear um, and be gone because I'll be going behind the mask, which will mask me out, in effect. Um, something else you can do with this is you can uh, adjust the opacity. Don't know if I'll be using that as much or the anti-alias, uh, which usually will just affect how uh, jaggy the edge of the mask is. Um, the most useful is probably this one here, feather. Um, you can set your ins and outs or determine when or when it will feather. Uh, usually I just go for both and you have a setting here. Not, not that you're going to see much in this shot, but if you look, you can kind of see the border sort of feathering. There's kind of feathering. It's a really wide, really wide feathered border, but we're not going to use that, so we're just going to leave it like so. And that's essentially the basics of masking. Of course, you can keyframe everything so that it moves around. If you have a person or an object you want to be where the background's masked out and you're simply moving around within the shot, that's a very painful and time-consuming process, but it is possible. Formerly, those were called traveling mats, but you can do a traveling mask very easily with Vegas if you have the time and the patience. Um, but it's, a, it's a very handy to use and for stuff like this it's really fast. So if you have an opportunity to check out masking in Sony Vegas, please do. It's found in the event pan crop tool and it is awesome. This is howtomakeanything.com. <laughs>